So in this video, we're going to be looking at the final question of the 2022 Paper 1 Further Maths GCSE. So we've been given a, a trigonometry equation, trigonometric equation, and we're asked to show that this left-hand side is identical to the right-hand side. We're proving this identity. Now, as soon as I see cos squared and sine squared, I'm thinking of the equation cos squared x plus sine squared x equals 1. So we're going to be using this equation in a minute. But we've also got a tan involved, and we've got some causes over some sines. So I'm going to be thinking that tan x equals sine x over cos x. So we're going to be using this equation as well. So I'm going to look at my left hand side and somehow make it to try and look like my right hand side. So my left hand side is 4 lots of cos squared x plus 3 sine squared x take away 4, all over cos squared x. Now, if we're trying to make it look like some form of tans on the right-hand side, I need the coses on the bottom and the sines on the top. So I somehow need to get rid of the cos on the top. So we've got cos squared x. Well, if we rearrange this one here, take away sine from both sides, we're going to have cos squared x equals 1 take away sine squared x. So I'm going to replace the cos squared x with 1 take away sine squared x. Now I've still got all the rest of the rubbish there. So I'm going to expand that bracket. So we're going to have 4 take away 4 lots of sine squared x plus 3 lots of sine squared x take away 4 all over cos squared x. Now one thing I noticed straight away is we've got a plus 4 and a minus 4 so they're going to cancel out. And then we've got negative 4 sine squared x plus 3 sine squared x, which is going to give me negative sine squared x over cos squared x. So I'm going to bring the minus out front. So sine squared x cos squared x. I'm going to Bring out that squared bit. Oop. And I've got myself this bit in the bracket, which we know from what we've talked about above is tan x. So we have got ourselves tan squared x, which is the right hand side, which is what we want to prove. And in mathematics, when we've shown something we want to prove, we put a little empty box down on the right hand side. 